In this video, we're going to learn how to set up Audacity on your PC. I'm currently using Windows Vista, but the menu should be similar if you were using another version of Windows. First, you will want to download Audacity by going to audacity.sourceforge.net and clicking on the Audacity 1.2.6 link. On the next page, click on Audacity 1.2.6 Installer. The prompt to begin your download should automatically pop up, but you can click on this direct link if it does not. Select Run so the installer opens once the download is complete. Select Run again to begin the installation. Click Next and accept the license agreement. You can leave the destination folder and other settings at default. Click Install to complete the installation. We do not need to open Audacity just yet, so uncheck the Launch Audacity box and click Finish. Vista may give you this pop-up window. If it does, you can just click on the Cancel button. Return to your browser and go back one page. We want to download the lame MP3 encoder so we can export our recordings as MP3s within Audacity. Click on the lame download page link under the Windows section. We want to download the zip option. Select Open and Vista should pull up this folder. Enter it by double clicking and look for the lame underscore enc dll file. This is what we will need to export our MP3s. The simplest thing to do is to drag this file to our desktop like so. We can leave it here for now and come back to it once our recording is finished. Now that we have the files that we need, let's open Audacity. This is the main window where we will be doing our recordings. The program will allow us to record multiple tracks as well as play along to existing ones. We will first want to set up our recording settings by clicking on Edit, Preferences. Make sure you are at the Audio I.O. tab. Keep Microsoft SoundMapper output selected as the playback device if you are using your computer speakers. The setting for the recording device can vary from computer to computer. You will most likely want to select Microsoft SoundMapper input or line in if you are using a guitar plugged directly into the sound card. If you have an audio interface connected, select that instead. For this recording, I'll be using my USB microphone. Make sure Play Other Tracks While Recording New One is checked, so you can hear any backing tracks as you make your recordings. Software Playthrough will allow you to hear your input signal playing back through your speakers, though you may experience some delay. If this gets too distracting, uncheck the selection. When you are finished, click OK to save your settings. We will now want to test our recording signal. To make a recording, click on the Record button here. Notice the blue waves indicating the audio that is being recorded. The red meter shows how strong my recording signal is. You can stop the recording by hitting spacebar on your keyboard or by clicking the stop button. If you are unable to get signal, feel free to contact service at berkeleymusic.com or call us at 617-747-2146 extension 3. Please watch part 2 of the Audacity tutorial to see how to record and submit your assignments.